Hi and welcome back to our channel. In today's battle the um, forces of the Ogre kingdom, Kingdoms march against the Skaven. Um, they, both armies are about 1000 points and uh, we are really looking forward to do this battle today. And both of these armies haven't been defeated yet. Really? But, I don't yeah, know. but I think the Ogre have made several victories so far and my Skaven have only played twice. Okay. Okay, these are my 1000 point of Ogre Kingdoms. Uh, my army is led by a fire belly. Um, right and left beside him are two saber tusks. The main group of ogres um, are iron guts, including full command, and they're wearing a warp or are carrying a war banner. Furthermore, I have four lead belchers with their cannons, and finally three Mornfang cavalry, uh, unfortunately not rebased on square bases. Okay, not too much models, uh, maybe just uh, a fifth of the model count of this cave, as you will see in a minute, but nevertheless, we will see how they perform today. Okay, and these are my 990 points of Skaven. The army is led by a Plague Priest with a 6 plus regeneration and poisonous attacks. It's a level 2 wizard. And I've got Battle Standard Bearer, a Chieftain as well. The six plus ward save and a better standard heavy armor and a shield and a great weapon. I've also included two regiments. The first of them are the storm vermin, including full command, and they've also got a rattling gun, a rattling cannon, and the second regiment. The regiment included is 34 Skaven Strong, including full command as well, and we've got a Warp Flame Thrower added. The third regiment consists of a Molder and three Red Ogres, and I've got a Warp Lightning Cannon as well. Um, I have already written another army list of 1000 points where the Rattling Cannon and the Warp Flame Thrower are replaced by a 40 somewhat uh, strong slave regiment. But I, these were six different purchases, six times PNP and five times customs, I think. And I haven't even assembled the last models needed for the strong. Large, yeah, but I think the slaves. support weapons are more iconic because you already have two large regiments. And mm. okay, we'll be back after deployment. Both forces have been deployed, starting with the Skaven. On your left flank are the Storm women, women. Mm. then the normal mm -hmm. Skaven. Then the warp cannon, and on your right side the red ogres. Uh, have you told our viewers already your uh, spells? I've got withering and cloud of corruption. Uh, one mm -hmm. of them, my number five, is quite dangerous because it might affect my own units as well. But let's see. Okay, and the ogre kings have put a saber task on the right flank. Then the Iron Gods, including the Army Commander Firebelly, Lead Belches beside them, the Mornfang Cavalry, and on the uttermost left, one more Saber Tusk. 
Uh, Marcus finished first with his deployment, so he got a plus one for the dice roll who will start the battle. Okay. The ogres roll a four. I will roll. And a three. Okay, when the ogres start yeah. and we'll back after the first round. That's the end of the movement phase of the ogres. As you can see, the um, saber task on the right hand moved behind the uh, cottage, whereas my iron guards marched towards the enemy. The red belchers only moved in order to shoot at the enemy, whereas my mournfang cavalry and the um, left hand saber task marched towards the enemy. We already rolled for the magic phase. I got nine power dice and Marcus got five of them. Okay, I would like to start with a fireball mm -hmm. against your normal Skaven regiment. Okay. And I think I try the middle-sized fireball, mm. meaning I would cause more hits. How many? 2d6? 2d6, yeah. And I think I will use four of my power dice. Okay. Okay. So I it's cast, cast uh, successfully. That's the good news. Uh, meaning that your regiment receives two d6 hits mm -hmm. with a strength of four. Okay, yeah. let's roll. There are twelve yeah. hits. That's <laughs> not yeah, bad. Yeah. That's really not bad. Um, okay. We've got toughness. Three, twelve, so three, so on. Three. Okay, two, four, six, eight, nine wounds caused by the fireball. And complete rank. Yeah. Okay, do we need to perform a panic test? I can do so, but you can but reroll it's probably of yeah, on ten with a reroll. Okay. Oh, okay, so we we'll need a reroll. Yeah. Okay. Good because idea to uh, include the battle senate bearer. Hmm. Otherwise, the <laughs> regiment might be lost in the first round. Yeah, I think Skaven can't go without one. Yeah. Okay. But now, now to the, the uh, miscast to the dam miscast table. Okay, let's roll. That's four oh that's not good, I think. Oh dimensional cascade. Mm. Put a five inch <laughs> template over the sorcerer. Each model under the template, including the sorcerer himself, suffers a strength ten hit. Okay. After yeah. I think the whole regiment is surely all, all of them are on a two. But maybe the saber task. No, oh, five is probably on there. Don't think so. No. Okay, let's do once for your sorcerer or yeah. wizard. Strength toughness two plus. No, he's lucky. Oh. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven times two plus. So you're really lucky. Three ones. Only five wounds. Five this wounds. is. One of them is dead, and the other one is down to a single wound. Okay, could be worse, but of mm. course it's not a good start and at all. And you have to roll once more, because on a roll of one, two, three, your wizard is removed as a casualty. Mm -hmm. On a roll of four plus, he remains alive, but your amount of dice will be reduced by 1d6. Just okay, let's just roll for the... Yeah. Um, Fire belly if he yeah. survives. On oh, no. a one, two, one. three, he's gone. One, two, three, he's gone. Okay, he stays. <laughs> okay, and now the amount. Otherwise, it would yeah. be a disaster because my yeah. commander would be gone. And the amount of dice is reduced by one, yeah. by five. Okay, okay. so they reduced completely, meaning that's the end of my psychic phase. Magic phase, yeah. And then we start with the shooting phase. The only 
actually we, we can shoot all the lead belches oh. and they will also try to shoot at the Skaven regiment. I've got four dice. Um, but I have to roll because they have multiple shots. I just roll how much shots they put out. Each gun has d6 shots, mm -hmm. meaning I've got a total of 10, so 17 shots. Yeah. And they have a ballistic skill of 3, yeah. meaning they will hit on 4+. plus. But it's a long distance, so it's 5+. plus, And it's multiple shots, so it's... I don't think they suffer from the from multiple shots. No, they don't. To take a look at your book. They don't suffer from um, moving and firing. For moving and firing. Okay. So it's on sixes. Yeah. Okay. Seventeen shots on sixes. So two of them hit. Where are these seventeen dice? Yeah. I'm not sure. Ah. No. Three are missing. No. Okay. So two hits. Uh, with range of four. On threes. Wounding on three, so two more down. Yeah. Okay, as there is no close combat yet, that's the end of the first turn of the Ogre Kingdoms. Back in my first turn after the movement phase, they had to charge because of the frenzy, and they did it with a six and a four plus their six movement. You know, they easily covered the 12 or 13 inch distance. Uh, and they remain stationary in order to be able to shoot the three of them and they just turned a little. Now on we go with our magic phase. Six and one, I try to channel. No. no. So you get six and I get seven. Okay, and I think I'll use my first three dice, well, let's say four dice on Wither onto them so that their toughness is reduced by one for the remainder of the game. Is it cast successfully? I've got eight, nine, ten, eleven plus two for the sorcerer, and I only yeah, need eight. Okay, then I try to dispel it with four dice. I got 11, 16, 18. Yeah, that's probably enough. Huh? And I think I won't do the other one because the other one might do too much harm to my own units. Yeah. Only in case of dire emergencies, I probably tried. So, on we go. So the small one first. I'm uh, really excited. Probably I'll kill myself and all units close to the warp flame thrower. I roll two. That's a problem because two inch. This is very lens. Uh, won't harm them. I'll oh, just roll once with the. Uh, okay. okay. Now we've got up to three shots of him. Uh, so the first one is the amount one is not much. I'll try another one. For five and I'll try another one. Okay, now I've got 11, 11 hits on fours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So 11 hits onto this unit. Strength four versus your toughness four should be on fours. I should, but uh, to hit his first. Test, to hit first. Yeah. Okay, not many hits. Three hits, and they are on four plus. One of them, oh, that's bad. And it's minus two. Okay, then. But only does one wound. Okay. Then, on we go with my. Warp Lightning Cannon, 10 inch from the back is here. This is where I aim. Okay, let's see where I land. Two, that's great. 
now we've got the more important rule. I hope for six or eight, ten. That's great. Okay, this is yeah, where the large template lands and everybody onto. So your army commander and the one behind him also got a strength ten hit with touch does d d six wounds and no armor save allowed and yeah, say the last two. Probably. Okay, this is strength 10 onto him, strength toughness. Yep, d6 wounds. Yeah, no armor save, so he's dead. The next one, strength toughness, one wound, unlucky, strength toughness. Yeah. So this one has got one wound, and this one, Strength Toughness, yep, uh, D, two wounds, I think you might just remove one of them, because this one has got one wound, this one has got two wounds, so... Does, doesn't this wound jump over then as well, or...? Oh. Okay. okay, this because one is dead and you've suffered three wounds in total. One on him and two on him, so I probably just remove one of them, this one, and no wounds counter for the other one. Yeah, but I think you just wrote individually for the models. Yeah. And okay, this one, this no. one is dead? No. Okay. Okay, do you have to take a break test? Because there yeah, are probably rank. four or five wounds in total. I have eight. Okay, that's okay. So do I have to roll something because my army commander is dead now? I think you have to roll because of the hit of the warp lightning cannon, but I don't think you have to roll several times. Or do I have to roll for all units as when the army commander is dead? Maybe? For the units within a certain amount of inches. Mm -hmm. I just roll for this one and maybe if you measure the distance towards the lid bridges, okay. this dog is fine. And for the lead bridges as well? Let's just okay, roll and look at seven. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. And the mall thing. Seven as well. And for this. Yeah. Why also? And I think normally it's so only with okay, so a certain amount of This one would be broken. I don't know if... Oh, I think losing the general only results in having units within a certain amount of inches to test. Mm -hmm. Of course, Saber Tusk uh, didn't notice it because the building is between them. Yeah. So he didn't <laughs> get be. any notice that the general is lost. <laughs> Champion. Look out, sir. We look it up and be back later. Okay, then we start with the close combat. Mm -hmm. The saber task has an initiative of four. My red ogre has got an initiative of four as well. Okay, so they strike simultaneously. I've got four attacks because of frenzy and I've got a weapon skill of three. I've got a weapon skill of four, so you hit on fours. No hit, and I can't. Then I, I cause fear, but um, you may, yes, well, yeah. then I have three attacks, so that was kind of four, meaning hitting on threes. And if I survive, I've got a stomp attack at the end. So yeah. two hits, two hits, and your strength Damage four versus my toughness four and fours. Four, one okay, I've suffered one wound, but now I do my stomp, which is strength strength five versus your toughness uh, four on three. Yep, I've got one wound. And I win by one, I think, because I've charged you. Uh -huh. Okay. Then he's fleeing the battlefield. Okay. So now, now he's, he's fleeing, fleeing through a friendly uh -huh. unit. Okay, I just roll. If, seven. if I charge and I'll do so, 
I'll run into your no, before they charge me. Yeah. Okay, I'll do so. You do seven and I do five. And five brings me I right into to them. Have that and fight I forgot the battle my, now? And I forgot my forgot uh, Do they have to fight not. the battle mm -hmm. now? I'm not sure. Maybe. Um Das you yeah. David, yeah, we need your help. Because Gernot, the Morn yeah. thing haven't fought already and you... The Necron 1 also provided at, us You wiped with out the yeah. Saber Tusk, so maybe... I, but I, I don't know. Well, let's look it up. Guys, that's the end of my second turn movement phase. Um, just a short recap what happened on my left flank. Um, because of my saber tusk, who was broken, he fled through the um, Morn Fangs, thus forcing them to perform a leadership test, uh, which they failed, so they were fleeing again at the end of the first turn. Uh, at the beginning of my Second turn, I tried to charge the warp lightning cannon, but failed in the endeavor. So they moved just four inches forward and uh, maybe done now wiped up in the next turn by the scaven completely. Um, then, fortunately, the Mountain Cavalry passed the leadership test and rallied successfully and performed, uh, formed their up news in facing towards the Red Ogres, whereas the Saber Tusk uh, didn't succeed um, in its leadership test, fleeing again through the um, Mournfang Cavalry, but this time they passed the leadership test, yeah. so they hold the line. My lead belt just uh, turned a little bit facing the Red Ogres, and the Saber Tusk turned as well. Because there's no magic phase, because I have no fire belly left, we can shooting. start with the shooting phase. They will shoot at the red ogres, um, causing a total Ooh. of um, 19. 19 hits. Uh, because they're within 12 inch now, they will hit on fives this time. Yeah. Okay. Meaning they hit four times with a strength of four. Toughness four on four. Toughness four, wounding on four, so one wound is caused. This one has got a second, and I don't have any saves of any kind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. the end of the I shooting phase, and uh, the, there's shots. no close combat phase, so we'll back at the end of the movement phase of the Skaven second turn. In my second turn of the movement phase, they had to charge because of their frenzy and did so. Uh, I had uh, the choice between these two regiments and I chose them because if they charge me, it would be fatal because of all the impact hits and stuff like that. So it's better if I charge them. And the others remained where they are in order to be able to. Um, shoot, use my warp fire cannon, the rattling gun and the, uh, the warp uh, lightning cannon onto them, but our magic first, three and two, I can channel, no, so I've got five dice, you've got three, and I use, I think, all of them, well, let's say just four of them, uh, on with a I'd like to reduce their toughness by one. Ooh. Okay, it's cast successfully. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they are with us. Maybe they... you can put the... Now the okay. more interesting... Okay. The miscast. More interesting thing. The outcome of my miscast. Oh, that's not so bad. It's a pretty no, high one. Good. Ten. Um, the... Level the magical level of your sorcerer is permanently reduced by one d6. Mm -hmm. So, I so you have to roll. Power. Okay, so has no level anymore. Oh. 
Um, and he loses one spell per lost. Yeah, per lost levels or he no lost problem. both. Yeah. But with is still in play, so their toughness three. Okay, but it's not a bad spell uh, yeah. outcome for the miscourse because nothing worse happens yeah. because I have no fire value left. Okay, that was the magic phase, then on to the shooting phase. <laughs> Already touches, please. Low this time. Six is bad. Because six might re uh, the end is still in. I'm, yeah. So three are covered with only the edge. So all of them leave it there. Okay. You have to take a panic test. Yeah, that's first. Okay. Maybe all of them run away. This no, okay. okay. Now all of them get a strength 5 hit, doing mm -hmm. D3 wounds and minus 2 armor save. Mm -hmm. Okay, 3 times strength 5 versus your toughness now. 3 should be on mm -hmm. 5 and versus two plus. 3 on 2s. Two of them, D3 wounds, D3 wounds on the first of them, 2 wounds and 1 wound. So 3 wounds cost in total. And a minus two, maybe. Let's say on this one, then he's gone. Okay. This one has one wound, okay. Mm -hmm. And there are two wounds as well. Yeah. So they have to, you've already taken the test. So this was my first one. And the second one is the Gatling. Uh, so the first dice is a six, and the second one is a two, and I leave it because if I uh, roll the, the same uh, inside twice, let's say like two sixes, uh -huh. I get problems. Uh -huh. uh, so this time there are just eight hits. Eight hits on fours. On fours, so four hit. Uh -huh. They are strength four versus your toughness three is on threes. And they are minus two, I think. Okay. So now so three wounds. For re hits and let's remove this one. Yeah. So one and this one. Then mm. we can remove mm -hmm. all the move other. Uh, and you've got two wound counters. counters left. And now as for my warp lightning cannon, I think I'll target them. If it's yeah. If things go bad, I might kill my own red ogres as well, but let's just try. Let's say two a ten from the back of this regiment. This is ten. Yeah. And now let's see how far it goes. Two inches in this direction. And now the really important roll. Because this one is for distance and strength. And the distance with a three inch template four. So four for this direction. So I'd say three of them are covered and therefore three of them will suffer a strength four versus toughness four, but doing D6 wounds without armor save on fours. None of them. Oh, they are lucky. They can tell the story of surviving a warp lightning candidate without any effects. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the end of my shooting phase. All I can do now is close combat. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm first. I've got an initiative of four. Um, let's check. And you've got beasts as well, and they've probably got a different initiative from. The ones of no, the they have less than only two. Okay, so who goes first? I do three, then you go first. I've got four. Mm -hmm. yeah. So all of them, because of their frenzy, they've got four attacks. Mm -hmm. So 12 attacks of my red ogres. And one from my initiative four Mulder with his whip, but this is also good. Okay, that is skill three against your... Mm -hmm. The same. 
A little bit better, but not much. Well, can you re-roll because of your friend's sins? No, it's no. hatred, I think. Ah, it's hatred. Ah, yeah. yeah Frenzy hatred, means yeah. an additional dice if I'm right, but we'll look it up just to be sure. We are not that well prepared today because we have both been at work. Okay, I've got seven. Seven times strength five versus mm -hmm. your toughness. Four. So on threes. Three left, and it's minus two, and you've got a two plus armor probably. So now it's on three on fours. Three times four plus? Yeah. So you only suffer a single wound, and then you can. Oh, my holder. Mm -hmm. I nearly forgot him. Uh, only strings. Okay, two hit is first. I've got a weapon skill of three, so on fours. No. And that's it. Okay, then I try to. Hit with my Morn Fangs themselves. Mm -hmm. Each of them has four attacks. So you've got 12. Meaning I've got 12 attacks. They have a weapon skill of three. So on four. So on four so like the same as you. Oh, they're a little, little less successful. Okay. And now you've got um, strength. I've got a strength of five. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I've only got toughness 4, so these are on 3. So 4 wounds yeah. by the Mount Fangs. And I can't do anything because I don't have any armor, so this one is dead and the other one as well. I think this one okay, already yeah. had 2 wounds, so 2 are, two are gone. And then maybe let them in place four because wounds. of the ah. combat result. Mm -hmm. And then I've got the Ogres left. They got only 3 attacks. So nine in total. Can Hitting. all of them hit my remaining one or just two? Um, I don't know. But I think you have to remove normally from the outside okay. and he will be here yeah. normally. Okay. Hitting on fours, meaning four hits. They only got a strength of four. So... I've got toughness for so these are wounding on four, so yeah. two wounds. Okay, so he's down. Already suffered six wounds by now. Okay, I think I won the combat. Yeah. I charged, but you have got six I charged wounds. and did one, one wound, yeah. and you did six wounds, so there's a difference of four. Mm -hmm. But you've got a banner as well, I think. No. Okay. Normally I've got a leadership of five when I start to run. Oh no. So they break away. Four. Yeah, I try to chase them. I have to yeah. normally I think I have to decide to chase before you make the roll, but I yeah. chase. Yeah. 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 Get them. So six, this is where you end up. Okay, I think that's the end of your second turn. Yeah. The end of my third movement phase. The Saber task didn't pass the leadership test and fled the battlefield. Um, the Mornfang cavalry sweeped around the cottage in order to get a better view of the enemy. The lead belchers turned slightly in order to shoot at this cavern. The other saber task remained hidden behind the building, whereas my two remaining iron guards finally managed to charge the warp lightning cannon. Okay, on to the magic phase. Yeah. I got nine dice and I use them all to dispel the wither spell. Mm -hmm. so, so I think it successfully. It will have much of a result. Because it's reduced by one anyway until the end. Yeah, but it's no, it's just okay. one. Yeah. Okay, then on to the shooting phase. They will shoot at the Skaven regiment. Yeah. With a total of 17 shots. And they will hit on sixes, I think. So two hits in total, 
Strength 4 versus Toughness 3. All three. So one is killed. Okay. Minus one. Do they have armor? Just And it's armor piercing as well. So okay. minus two. No, these are just normal clan rates. And oh. Okay, then on to the close combat. How does it work with the war machine? Um, I think you're fighting my crew. There's a crew? Yeah. There's a crew of three reds in there. And I think... Um, so you first because you charged. I've got an initiative of three. And then you are first. Okay. And I've got a weapon skill of three. Mm -hmm. Me as well, so hitting on fours. Only one. And this one is at strength three versus your toughness. Three is on fours. Toughness four. No, no. Six is enough. Mm -hmm. So one of them would have a wound without um, armor penetration if it doesn't do this mm. or... Uh, okay, of course one wound. And now two of your ogres can strike and I think they also get their impact hits because there are two mm. left. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't we have to roll the impact hits at the beginning? We are just rolling. Before it's not yeah. then Uh, then I roll two impact hits with a strange four versus toughness three. Toughness three, so one is gone. Okay. Okay. Then one out of three is dead. I put a wound marker over there, and now your regular fighting. Uh, hitting dice hit hitting on fours. Yep. So these are four hits. Where's this my on two, twos? Uh, okay, they're completely dead. Four or do they six. Have six. Okay. So all of them are dead, I remove it and one of the wounds. And they reform. Yep. Okay. Do we have to pass a panic test for this Kevin? I think a, a unit, unit is destroyed yeah, with a certain amount of inches, but they can do it on the army and commander twice and yeah. plus yeah. the number of ranks, so it's probably I think it hint. Yeah. Okay. Then we're back at your third turn. Mm -hmm. We are back in my third turn after the movement phase. They've just moved a little sidewards. Uh, and yeah, they reformed. No movement over there in order to be able to shoot. Okay, and that's it. We can skip the magic phase and go on with shooting. Uh, I'll put maybe there or there, but if I do this and head for them, I'll have to roll really high. So let's try them. Oh, nice. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Now, uh, when I need it, it's good. Oh, no, but I think it's the first miss for the whole game for you, so. Yeah. Okay. Two. It's exploding. Yeah. I'll have to take the large template and place it over the weapon scheme. Oh. <laughs> so they're destroyed. Yeah. And a lot of your hit a lot of other uh, So now we've got another three clan reds. The small ones, mm -hmm. and we've got one, two, four three, them. four, five, five. But well, I think it's only touching that's yeah. the difference to 40k. Where okay, yeah, so they are killed, auto killed, I think. Mm -hmm. Where it says and treat as a hit, mm -hmm. so I just write maybe and rule double ones. Okay, both of them get a strength 5 hit on toughness 3, so it's on 2 plus. Oh, one. So one is dead, but on the other hand, as it says, the cannon itself. Yeah, it's I think yeah. it's destroyed. 
Maybe it's for the other guys, put, I think, to hit yeah. so three times on this one. Just put one here. And three times brings five versus toughness three. And twos. Oh, two of them are dead. And five of the clan One, two, three, four, five. Two, one. So three would be dead, but it's only minus two. And they've got heavy armor and shield, so they've Six got up, sixes, three. three, no, so three of them are dead as well. Okay, oh, I think oh, that's oh. the end of your turn, yeah. and we'll back at the fourth turn of the Ogres. End of the movement phase of the fourth turn of the Ogres. My Mornfang Cavalry and the remaining two Iron Guards successfully charge the Reds. And now you've got your impact hits, yeah. not to forget it. Uh, whereas the um, Red Belchers moved six inches towards the enemy, and my remaining Zabrak Tusk make a sneaky move on the yeah. right, right flank, maybe to get in the back of the enemy units. Little shot by the Wrecking Guard. Okay, yeah. probably explodes next. <laughs> on to the shooting, my Red Belchers shoot at the Clan, no, not clan, but it's uh, the storm, storm, vermin, storm, vermin. So causing ten hits in total, uh, hitting on sixes. So, as you can see, none of them hit, and I think we can immediately skip to the. Oh. Um, to the close combat phase. So you've got two impact hits from your ogres, from the regular ogres. Strength four versus toughness three should be on threes. Okay, two impact hits from the ogres, yeah. meaning um, on threes. Threes, yeah. So two are dead, and two d three or d six. There was something special about. Yeah, the monstrous cavalry. D three, so two times D three okay. of impact hits. Oh. So you've got five impact hits. Five impact hits. But these are probably strengths five. Yeah. yeah. So, so maybe four on. more down. Yeah. Okay, six guys down due to impact hits. Yeah. But I can test on your army commander. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense if I kill many of them. Okay. I've got an initiative of three. And I've got. I think you've got the normal so initiative schedule. of four. Okay, then you strike okay, first. Right. So I've got one, two, three, ten. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe okay, I've got a champion. But I'm defending, so I can take an additional rank. So we've got 15. Ears plus one for the champion, so it's 16. Mm -hmm. Do you want to split your attacks against the Ogres and the Mountain Cavalry? Well, to be honest, I think I have to do so. I have to because, split because some I think are not most in. of them. Half is in contact with the Mountain and one, half two, three, with four, the other one. Five, six. six out of my 16 onto the Mountain okay. and the other 10 onto the normal warriors. Okay, uh, onto the Mountain. Weapon skill 3. Do you like this up? Yeah. Okay, then hitting on 4s. So 3 hits on the Mountain Cavalry. Yeah, but it's only strength 3 against your toughness 4. Okay, wounding on 5s. No. no. Okay, then no, 10 hits ten. against the Iron Guts. And 10. Again, hitting on 4s. Oh, that's lots of hits. Uh, but only strings three, so these are only on fives. Uh, is Wither still in play with reducing yeah. the toughness? Because it's till the end of okay. the so, battle, it says. But you're winning on fours. Okay. Because strength three versus toughness three. But I have to roll fours first. So I re roll this I'll one. This one yeah. So I've got four. Four hits, okay. Then they've got a five up armor save. Mm -hmm. Four times. Yeah. So two saves, so two wounds, so one is dead. OK, 
Okay, then time to strike back with my ogres first. Yeah, one ogre. Three attacks hitting on fours, so none. Then you've got two beasts and two riders from your. Okay, so starting with the mon two mon fangs. Yeah. They hit also on fours. Oh, that's a lot. And strange five killing on twos. Yeah, probably. Mm. Only four more reds gone. And then my two riders hitting on fours. Oh, the and beasts are better than the riders, well, is often the case. And wounding on four against three on three, so two more down. These are strengths? Four. Strengths four is minus one. Mm -hmm. And I've got a shield, so I've got a light armor and shield, so I've got a five plus normally, minus one is six, and then a six plus parry. Yeah, two times six these. plus. Yeah. And two times six up. Shield save. No. No. Two more down. Okay. Okay, I think you lost the combat by a lot. But you can test on your army commander. Yeah. And re-roll. And re-roll. For your battle standard. Okay. They passed the test and that's the end of my fourth turn. So we're back in my fourth turn, my Storm Vermin, Regiment of Storm Vermin, including my Army Commander and the Battle Standard Bearer came to the edge, which is untypical for Skaven. <laughs> Normally they should be say, uh, should uh, keep back and say, okay, come on, we'll make it, guys. And this one just turned it in order to fire at the dog. So. I've got, let's do the first dice, four hits, and let's roll another one, five, nine. This should be okay. Nine on four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I've got one, two, three, four. Oh. Where strength four versus your toughness four. So okay. fours probably, uh -huh. three of them, and two minus two. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's the end of our shooting, and I think we've only got our close combat uh -huh. left. So the first one, two, three, four, five, six, including, yes, the ch champion, so I've got seven. Seven against the remaining ogre. Mm -hmm. Okay, hitting on fours. Oh, that's good. That's the end, maybe. And they are strengths. Three versus your toughness. Three wounding on three. Fours. Fours, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, but you've got three armor saves. Yeah. Oh. I passed two of them, so yeah. one wound. So one wound suffered. And now I've got one, two common reds onto the large oh. one. Hitting one fourth. No. Oh. So we can skip it. And now it's more important. Let's do my battle stand bear first. Uh -huh. Okay, a weapon skill of five. Uh -huh. Hitting on threes. Or should I use the great weapon when he'll strike last, but he'll do more damage? Yeah, I'll have him strike last. Uh -huh. So we've got the Plague Monk, weapon skill 5 and 4 attacks. Uh -huh. So 3 hits. Three hits. And I've got Poison. Uh -huh. And strength four. Mm -hmm. So wounding on fours. So one wound. One wound. Minus one. No. One wound on them. And now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
11 of the Storm Rats with a weapon skill of 4. Mm -hmm. So they are on fours? Oh, threes. Threes, okay. And they are strengths four mm -hmm. versus your toughness four. So on fours. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Not bad. So five? Mm -hmm. Okay, five armor saves. Minus one, so one is not saved, so one is dead. Okay. And there was a wound over there, so I crossed four wounds probably. And now I've got my... But the wound is still on the ogre. Okay. Not on the ogre. And this one okay. is at the end okay. after your... Okay, then the ogre yeah. strikes. The normal ogre onto this. Hitting on fours. One hit. Wounding on twos. Yeah, one dead. Uh, strings. Six. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it for sure. Yeah. Then my mount fangs. They will try... this one onto the normal regiment, the other one onto my... Okay. So uh, this one onto the clan reds. Okay. Hitting on fours. So one hit. Drunk toughness. Yeah. No saves. Oh. So this is the strings. Four. Five. Five. So your so shield maybe. Maybe. On a six. No. So two are dead. And on we go with the large one. And then the and ogre. You can ride as well. One hit. One wound. But this time it's only strings four. Mm -hmm. So I've got a six plus armor and then a six plus shield. No two and my parry. No. Yeah. Okay, then the other Mourn Fang. And the other Mourn Fang onto my Storm Vermin. Hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. Wounding on twos, maybe. Probably the toughness three. Mm -hmm. So two. two. And it is minus. Minus two. Minus two, then I've got six plus six plus. Two times. One. And six plus parry. Yep. Oh. And then the Ogre. Yeah. Minus one, yes. So now I've got five plus six plus. No. Okay, one is dead. And now my chieftain, where is it? Chieftain Battle Stamper. Three attacks with strength six and a weapon skill of five. So weapon skill of five should hit on threes. Mm -hmm. Two of them. And now two hits, strength six versus toughness sub is two plus probably, both of them. And now we've got minus three, so two armor saves. Not and much left. Two parries. No. Oh. no. So this one has got two wounds. Mm -hmm. uh, now I did one plus three is four, five, six wounds if I'm mm -hmm. right. But in the charge. More ranks. And five charge. wounds, charging six. Two, two, two ranks, six, seven, eight. Minus four. Eight. And I've got a banner. Two eight. Banners. BSB and normal mm -hmm. banner, eight, ten. Minus four. Should six. Put a minus six oh, on I the think they, test. I don't. Uh, but I have to roll double oh. ones. Okay, for the ogre first. No. For the mountain cavalry. I follow them. No. Okay, who follows whom? <laughs> they will follow him. I think he rolled a six. Okay, then I have to roll how far he is fleeing. Six inches. Five. Okay, I'm and down don't behind. get him. And roll for them, and I'll follow with them. Okay, they will flee ten inches. And I'll follow. Okay, we'll Seven. figure it out and back at my hmm. next turn. My fifth turn of the Ogres. My Lead Belchers successfully charge into the flank of the Storm, Storm Vermin. And uh, 
They thus helping my Mon vocabulary passing the uh, that doesn't help actually to pass leadership test, but it helped that they are not wiped out completely because mm. they passed leadership test and made a reform. I can't charge in my fifth. Yeah. And this unfortunately the remaining it. Ogre miserably failed his um leadership test and fled another six inches directly away from the following given. <laughs> Um, okay, on to the close combat. First of all, my two impact hits onto the storm vermin. Okay, one wound. One, and it springs four. Okay, I think you don't have a C, uh, parry against it, ah. but you have your normal save, mm -hmm. so it's minus one. If so. it strengths four, then it's okay. a five plus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then. Now you've got your normal attacks. But I think you have a high initiative. No. But I can only use the one at the four. sides and the support attack. I've got one, yeah. two, three, four. Let's do the plague priest first. I've got four attacks with strength four and poison and weapon skill five. So I'll hit on threes. Just one hit. Okay, it's quite uh, Four versus four. Yep. So you've probably got one. One wound. Do you have an armor penetration? Four is minus one. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, then I've got one wound. Then your remaining three storm women. Mm -hmm. And they are weapon skill four and initiative five and strength three plus one four. So first of all, weapon skill four against you. Three, so hitting on three. Three dice. Uh -huh. So one. One. And strength four versus your toughness four. Yep. Minus one. So it's probably no save. Oh, okay. Left. So I dealt two wounds. And now you can go on. Yeah. Okay, but total of 12 attacks. Mm -hmm. Hitting on. Force probably because I've got weapon skill four. Oh, okay, hitting on force. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. And they are strength four mm -hmm. against my toughness three, so on threes. Four wounds. Four wounds with minus. Minus one. Minus one, so four fives, followed by four parries. But can you parry in the flank? Yeah, you're right. I think I can't. Uh, so it's, it's very one success. Wound, one wound suffered. Yeah. Okay, then I think I lost. Definitely the combat. Yeah. I've got more ranks than you, and I've cast caused one more wound. So it's probably and I've got a banner and the battle standard bearer. Okay, let's check it. I killed one. Yeah. I charged in the flank. flank. You cost two wounds. I've got two ranks. I have two ranks and a banner and a BSB. Yeah. So one by three. Uh, meaning one. they run probably directly away <laughs> again. Oh no, they, they, they managed it. They hold it very good. That's not very good. Okay. They hold the line. Yeah. Okay. Then that's the end of my fifth turn. And only go with my fifth. Okay. As you can see, I tried to charge the lone. The remaining single bull of the ogre regiment, but uh, he successfully fled to the edge or close to the edge of the table. The edge edge marks. Marks. <laughs> didn't get him, and they remain close combat. And I turned this one a little. Maybe it can fire in its final sixth turn, just in case they kill off my army commander. There might be another ten or okay, twelve or come on. eighteen shots inbound. The battle okay. is almost defeated. First of all, same as last time, I've got my Plague Monk, uh -huh. four attacks, uh -huh. weapon skill five, so on threes. Okay, one Three poison them, attack. One poison, yeah. And two times strength four versus your toughness four is on fours, I think. So, so two. two minus one, so this one is dead. Okay. So I did two wounds or three. Mm -hmm. Two. Two wounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three. Then three. 
Let's go. Four. Okay, hitting on threes. Two hits. Four hits. Strengths four versus your toughness. Wounding on fours. Fours. None of them. None? And now, yeah, and now you've got your ogre spec. Okay, meaning nine attacks. Yeah. Hitting on fours. And wounding on threes. Okay, so four wounds. Four, four wounds. And I've got four on five. And three are dead this time. But I think I've still won. Uh, I've caused two wounds. I've got a banner. I've got the battle standard bearer. I've got two ranks. Uh -huh. And you've done. I killed three and have a flank. So I won by two. Okay. Nope. Nine. They run away. Do you want to follow? Hmm. I think I'll do so. Okay. Because it might even get me out okay. of the boss. So nine. Eleven. Okay. okay. You. So you catch them and I think we'll be back after we position the unit. Mm -hmm. Turn of the ogres. My uh, last iron guard unfortunately fled the battlefield and is removed as casualty. Whereas my Mornfang cavalry, the two remaining guys of my whole army, successfully charged the storm vermin in the back. And as there is no shooting and no hmm. magic phase, we skip to the close combat phase. There was one question left because I wanted to reform after I had ruled higher than the fleeing lead belchers. So um, I wanted to do so, but we were not sure because it says if you wipe out a unit in close combat, you're allowed to do a reform, but uh, it was a kind of uh, reaching a fleeing opponent. So therefore they got me in the back. Okay, let's do the um, impact hits first. Yeah. A total of two. two. <laughs> um, Strengths. Five. So two hits minus, minus two, two. So two six up sixes. armor save. And I think no, no shield is allowed. Parries. Okay, two are dead. Okay, then you strike first because of your high initiative yeah. with six storm vermin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times. Hitting on three. Four. Hitting on three. Okay. Okay, and wounding on fours. four versus four. Yeah. So one armor save. No. It's minus one. Oh, then one is dead. And then you've got and your one guy seven left. Attacks. That four attacks by the mount thing, hitting on fours, none of them, and the rider hitting on fours as well. But <laughs> failed to wound. Okay, nothing happened. I've probably won because I've got a oh. standard battle standard one complete rank. I killed one. Just one wound. And I charged in the back. Oh. So I lost by one. Oh. So, um, yeah. Five. Oh. I passed it. Okay. I will be back after my six. Turn of the game. Yeah. The Stormwarming made a quick reform because they won the hand to hand combat and now they are attacking the last Mornfang. I start with my normal ones and do the Chieftain with mm -hmm. his great weapon at the end. Okay. This. So, the normal ones, weapon skill 4. Hitting on 3. That's bad. Okay, 4 of them. Strength 4 versus toughness 4 is on 4. Two of them and they are minus one, so you got uh, yeah. both yeah, made them. But then your beast is next. Okay, I then I try to attack your battle center bearer. Okay. So with your beast. Yeah. I've got a weapon skill of hitting on four. So two hits. Mm -hmm. Wounding on. I've got toughness four. So on threes, so two wounds. Okay. 
with minus two? Uh, I've got four plus plus a talisman, a six plus talisman. So I do the why got it four up? Four minus two is six first. But why two on six? No, the okay. can't use his shield if he uses his six. Double okay, weapon. yeah, you're right. So it's only two times no the talisman uh, on six. Okay. So what's if? No. No. Okay, so two wounds, or has he more than two wounds? So he's only got two wounds. Okay, so he's dead. Safe. Okay. Then my ogre strikes at the regiment. Yeah. Hitting three times and causing one wound with minus one. Then I've got a uh, through. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. enough. So and that's the end, I think. Okay. Congratulations, Markov. I think this Kelvin won the battle. Thank you. Also, one ogre and his trusty Mornfang remained. Yeah. Um, okay, we're back with a short conclusion. I was really lucky in the beginning to uh, luckily kill uh, Alex Army Commander and Wizard with one shot from my Warp Lightning Cannon. But the really tough enemy, I think it's the first game ever the Ogres have lost. And even in the end, they would have had uh, yeah, lots, it was quite close chances. at yeah. the end. I... I, I'm sure we played lots of stuff wrong. Um, I'm not sure all of all of this moving, uh, running away, questions of being allowed to reform. I'm sure we played mm. lots of stuff wrong. And the wounds, maybe, um, uh, maybe if they are carried over or uh, not, trans, how does it work? Transferring exactly? wounds on one model or one wound for all of the models under the blast marker. Necron 1 already commented in case of the tree kin during our last mm -hmm. battle where he said no add them up and remove but I, I'm not sure if it was a blast marker back then. I think what a magic uh, mm. magic power which caused wounds and we distributed them evenly mm. but he told us that uh, we have to remove one of the tree kin and one mm. wound is carried over to another one. Okay feel free to comment. Yeah as ever hope you enjoyed the battle nevertheless. And feel See. free to subscribe and comment oh. to our channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, bye. bye.